Welcome back to Metal Bend Chronicles and tonight I'm going to bring you an album review by a legendary Canadian thrash metal band. And this album came out back on January 24th of 2020. You know? And of course, I'm talking about Annihilator, you know, led by Jeff Waters. Jeff Waters, you know, being the only consistent and original member, you know, Annihilator is basically his baby. So, yeah. This would be album number 17, the follow-up to 2017's For the Demented. And, you know, let's just get right into this review. So we got Jeff Waters on vocals, bass guitar, all guitars pretty much, production, you know, engineering, editing, and mixing. Yeah, pretty amazing that he can do all that. But man, sometimes that's the way you gotta do things, right? Okay, well, we got Aaron Homa. Aaron Homa. Lead guitars on track five, which track five would be Out With The Garbage. And don't mind me, I'm looking at Wikipedia here. We got Fabio Alexandrini on drums. And that that's basically your lineup, you know. You know, Annihilator, like I said, you know, it's basically a Jeff Waters solo project at this point. There's been so many lineup changes in this band. I'm not gonna sit here and name all of them. But you know, according to this, in total. There's been 37 members in Annihilator since 1984. That's a lot of members. Okay, so overall my thoughts on the album, you know, it's basically typical Annihilator, you know. I do think this is better than the last three albums. You know, the last three albums being For the Demented, oh, Suicide Machine, Feast. Uh, what was, I think the one before Feast was just called Annihilator, if I remember correctly. I don't know, there's so many albums. Um, a lot of these albums have not been, like, readily available here in America. In fact, the last album I can remember actually being released here in the States, it's probably 2005 Schizo Deluxe. So for a few years, you know, I did lose connections with Annihilator and what was going on. I mean, I knew the albums, but it was very hard to, you know, listen to them in certain areas, you know what I mean? Until I got more connected with Facebook. YouTube and social media where I could find this material, you know. Now, the only ones I have after Schizo Deluxe is Ballistic, Sadistic, and Feast. But anyways, I digress. So the question is, does the material stand up to the early stuff? Okay. I do think this newest album is the best album he's done in quite a while. You know, like I said, I think it's the best since, you know, probably Schizo Deluxe. You know, I think it's a really good album. Now, the other albums in between weren't bad. I just feel like some of them weren't up to the standards, you know. Pertainly the last two albums, to be exact. Maybe Feast to a certain extent. But yes, this album seems like a mixture of, I'm going to say um, stylistically, um, Never Neverland, 
Refresh the Demons. I can really hear those two albums a lot on, on this newest release. And there are no ballads on this. Because, you know, from time to time, Jeff Waters will do a ballad on an Annihilator album. It's not every album, it's certain albums. Or you get a hard rock tune, you know, kind of like what you got on Waking to Fury and, um, what's the other album? Carnival with the Oblots from back in 2000 and 2002. You know, where they did a couple ACDC sounding hard rockers. You're not going to find that here. This is pretty much straight up thrash. Now it definitely does hit on familiar territory. I think a lot of the tracks, not to call them rip-offs, but it kind of seems like maybe rehash, rehashing and recycling rips to a certain extent. I'll give you a couple examples. Like to me, I'm going to say Psycho Ward, which to me, Psycho Ward's the worst track on this album. I think the track's just absolutely annoying, but it does kind of remind me of something off of I can't remember the name of the song right now, but it reminds me of a track off Criteria in a Black Widow. Um, can't remember which track off the top of my head, though. Then you got, you know, tracks like Out With The Garbage that are absolutely killer thrash tunes that kind of, kind of go back to the Never Never Land, Alice In Hell type of vibe. Dressed Up For Evil reminds me of Road To Ruins from Never Never Land. Riot is a short little anthetic song, but honestly I think it's one of the weaker tracks off of here too. Lip Service, that track reminds me of Pastor of Disaster from Refresh the Demon. So yeah, some of these songs will remind you of old songs. Now, is that necessarily a bad thing? No. I don't think so. I actually really enjoyed listening to this album, despite a couple tracks. I, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a fun listen. And I'll harken back to those earlier albums to an extent when, in comparison to what I just mentioned. In comparison to what I just mentioned, I should say. I mean, it's not groundbreaking. Jeff Waters is still a hell of a guitar player. Still has one of the most unique thrash metal tones. Probably the tightest and cleanest thrash metal guitar player. So yeah, after a 35 year career, I would say, you know, Jeff Waters still sounds pretty darn good. And I enjoy his vocals on this album. Yep. It definitely has that refreshed and demons vibe when it comes to the vocals, and I really enjoyed it. So, I would give the newest album by Annihilator. I mean, it's definitely not going to be my album of the year. It might be in my top ten. Like I said, I do enjoy the album. I'll give it an eight out of ten. And that's my review of the brand new album from a novel.